Hi, I'm Jane Velez Mitchell with Jane Unchained, and I am here with Donnie Moss of TheirTurn.net and our fantastic guest, Josh Petrick, founder and CEO of Hampton Creek Foods, maker of the amazing uh, Josh Mayo, which I use in my kitchen every day, this fantastic cholesterol-free plant-based product. And we are talking breaking news now. A shocking scandal erupted. Lawyers got a hold of documents that show the U.S. government, our government, conspired to put your company, Josh Tetrick, out of business. They were not successful, but tell us some of the shocking details. There are quite a few of them. So right now, Jane, you're in our lab. Uh, we got 70 plus people here busting their butt to try to make better food. And, and we found out that the USDA's American Egg Board was engaged in a number of illegal activities. Let's start with the first uh, and probably uh, the oddest. Uh, they called uh, our company a crisis uh, and a major threat. Uh, and they brought on a crisis PR firm, Edelman, to do a number of things, including paying them tens of, paying bloggers tens of thousands of dollars to write discrediting things about our work and also not disclosing, by the way, that they did, that were they were paid by the American Egg Board. They paid a guy, they paid a guy to call Whole Foods to attempt to block the initial distribution of Just Mayo. You know, we launched that product uh, well over a year and a half ago and they paid a guy to call the executive leadership at Whole Foods to attempt to stop them uh, from some, thankfully our good friend at Whole Foods uh, were clearly not moved by it. Third, they attempted to join the American Association for Sauces and Dressings to actually influence policy on whether or not chicken eggs should be used in some of these products. Uh, and, and overall, you know, it's a pattern of this, this entity going way outside their mandate, uh, violating numerous laws. And I think it really speaks to, you know, what an entrenched industry does when it faces just a little bit of competition. What was your reaction when you saw the emails from executives with the American Egg Board uh, and they were threatening to take a hit on you. I want to actually, I'm going to quote what they said. Uh, Can we pull our money and put a hit on him, meaning you? And an executive vice president of the American Egg Board no. that offered, quote, to contact some of my old buddies in Brooklyn to pay Mr. Tetrick a visit. What's your reaction to that? Uh, I thought we must be doing something right. I really, I, I thought we must be doing something right. I mean, you know, we. Jane, it's funny, the first time that you interviewed me, I think we might have had about 16, 17, 17 people in the company. Um, and, you know, just in a quick period of time, we've managed to form these partnerships with Walmart, with Compass Group, with Target, uh, with, with so many other major players out there, with General Mills, and we've grown fast. And we didn't start this thing to play small. So if a few people weren't upset by us, uh, I think we're probably doing something wrong. All the news reports have described this as jokingly suggested. I have to tell you, I've covered, I've written two books on murders. I've covered crime for 37 years, and I've I've heard people discuss actual plots that casually on texts and emails. Uh, wh it, why this assumption that this was just a ha ha joke? And are you going to take any legal action against these um, alleged email threats to put a hit on you, yeah. or any other? Uh, allegedly illegal activities by the American Egg Board, which is supervised by the USDA. Yeah, they charge, and, and we're going to do a number of things. You know, we we started this company to try to have a, to make a difference in food. This is a platform to have an impact. Um, and here's what we're going to do after seeing this. Number one, we're calling for a congressional investigation over the USDA. Right we're calling for it. Um, we're talking with members on both sides of the aisle about these illegal actions. So we hope Congress takes up this investigation because it's it's really government uh, run amok. It's not fulfilling what the needs of the people are. The USDA has a role to provide good food to support farmers, not to block market access for a competitor that's trying to do something a little bit good. Uh, number two, um, we're asking that Secretary Vilsack actually conduct his own investigation um, over these acts. I don't think they align with the kind of uh, USDA that he believes in and he really wants to lead and we're actually considering Jane filing a lawsuit against uh, the American Egg Board and their actions too. So we're we're aiming to be very aggressive about this and it's less about 
you know, how it impacts Hampton Creek. And it's more about there is serious reform that needs to be done here. Uh, we don't want other companies to go through it. And more importantly, we want the USDA to be about something that's a little bit more important than trying to harm a competitor that's doing something good. They need to be about promoting good food and supporting farmers, not these illegal acts that have nothing to do with their mandate. When we first spoke to Josh, Unilever had filed a lawsuit against you because you were using the word um, mayo, and mayo, by definition, can be eggs. And that lawsuit, they dropped the lawsuit, it backfired, it was a publicity disaster for them, and a real coup for Hampton Creek because you got all the publicity you would have otherwise never gotten. So yeah. you surprised, here we are again, and the mistakes are being made again, shining a spotlight on you, Hampton Creek, and Just Mayo. Are you surprised that they've done this again? It is It, it is. It is somewhat unbelievable, honestly. I mean, Unilever was mentioned in these FOIA documents, too. The Unilever Council, uh, during the lawsuit, actually called the American Egg Board and asked for help um, in dealing with Hampton Creek. Yeah, I mean, in a very short time period, about this time last year, Unilever had just filed the lawsuit, and then 34 days later, they dropped it. Now we have an entity of the U.S. government, you know, kind of bungling around and doing sort of the same thing. And it is, it is surprising, but I do, I take it as a, a sort of badge of honor that we're shaking the system up a little bit. And we have lots of new stuff coming out pretty soon, right? You know, Jane, I'm anxious for you to taste just scramble. This is a plant you throw in a pan and actually scramble. It scrambles like a chicken egg. So we might be here again. I know that the FDA just in August uh, told you basically uh, you can't use the phrase mayo. Yeah. And the, the backstory now has been revealed that it was the American Egg Board and the USDA who were, pun intended, egging the FDA on. First of all, I think it destroys the FDA's credibility, uh, makes them look like a hack and a shill. Uh, but that's my phrase, not you. Uh, but uh, do you think all this has backfired? When Unilever yeah. sued you, you ended up getting something like more than $100 million in venture capital. Have yeah. the guys who back you, uh, the big names, the, the Bill Gates of the world, heard about this uh, hijinks, these shenanigans, these dirty yeah. tricks? And, yeah. and is it is it helping you the way the Unilever lawsuit helped you get more capital? Yeah, what's been awesome about it is um, we we just took an additional fifteen million dollars actually from a major food conglomerate in Japan called Mitsui in the last seven to ten days. We couldn't be you know more well capitalized. It's it's deep in our partnerships, and today we have partnerships, Jane, not just with Whole Foods. You can go to your local Dollar Tree and buy our products. And that's an important thing to keep in mind, right? We're not just about serving people and make over six figures. We're trying to reach everyone. So it's deep in our partnerships. I think it's shown a lot of our customers what we stand for. Our investors aren't scared off by it. It validates why they invested in us in the first place. And as it pertains to the FDA, because it's somewhat of a separate issue than the USDA thing, the next step with them, you know, they sent us a letter. They didn't say we need to take the products off the shelf, uh, just may off the shelf. Um, but we're going to be meeting with them sometime uh, in the next uh, month or so, sitting down. And my hope, my hope is we can find some common ground on this. I think, um, you know, they believe in innovation. They believe in sustainability. So it's, it's my hope that we find some positive ground on it. Speaking just as an American citizen, when I saw these emails about putting out a hit on you, okay? Because you're creating a good product and it's not some thug, okay? It's the U.S. government. Oh my God.